of Dracula, which I think we could all carry with us and uh, we'd all be happier, I think, in life. Uh, before ending, um, I would like to read a short extract from Digging for Dracula about the incident that I mentioned uh, in which I go to visit Dracula's castle in Transylvania. The chapter is called Bit Bitten But Not Beaten. A Sleepless Night in Castle Dracula in Transylvania. As we sat down at the rough hewn wooden table, the sky outside the curtainless window cast me back to a childhood incident when ink spurted from my fountain pen, splattering the front of my new grey school shirt. It was a dark day in more ways than one, I remembered. There was a time, that was a time when friends and I would gather every evening at our secret hiding place. A hut of mud and grass in the fields near the Black Mountains overlooking Belfast Loch. Here we tantalize and terrorize each other with stories of the supernatural. Nuns with rosary beads, but without their own heads, which they held delicately in their hands and wizened women with long silver hair and piercing eyes. These were characters highly regarded by both teller and listener. We were Irish, and like most of our nation, infatuated with dark, mysterious tales of murder and people who simply wouldn't die, like banshees. Now, sitting in the shadow of the rugged Carpathian Mountains, listening to stories of vampires 